Hello everyone, this is Eli from Landlord Gurus. I am just about to set up a property in Turbo Tenant, which I haven't done before. So I thought I would walk through it with you and we can learn together how it works. I've got a vacancy, so I'm gonna set up a property and a listing. So I've gone straight to properties and then add a property. I'm gonna make up a fictitious address just so we don't have any issues. And I'll come back and edit that later so I can set my listing live. We are in Seattle. And we're in an apartment. It is a studio. I guess it wants me to give them a zero with one bedroom. Square feet footage is 400 and it's a very old building, which I don't think is a, is a selling point, although it's been very updated. So, all right, we've got the basics in there and I'm gonna go, go ahead and set up a listing here so that we can get it out and advertised. It's ready now and I'm showing it this weekend. But, and I'm listing it as available as of May 1st. We are requiring a one year lease. Our, our rent is 11.50 and then I'm charging the same amount in security deposit. This is, a, this is a cool feature actually that I haven't seen in any of the other products that I've looked at free. I have seen it paid, but if you press this button here, it does an analysis of your pricing compared to local, you know, surrounding units. Because I didn't give it a, a correct address, this is not <laughs> a correct average. So we're moving on to the next screen here. We've set some criteria, no smoking, do not allow any pets. Uh, and I'm not gonna set an occupancy limit because the local laws deal with that and I need to stay clear of that anyway. So. I would, if I had a bunch of tenants I in there, I would have to check it, but I believe it's eight per bedroom. So I think I'm a long way from running up against that. We, as the owners pay directly for water, sewer and garbage. So that's included. And then amenities on site laundry. We are near parks. We have bicycle parking in this laundry room and we put in some security cams and it's got current wiring it has a dishwasher microwave freezer oven it's all a tile this is a ground floor basement studio it has no cooling system which it really doesn't need and then there are wall heaters Okay, so I, to make it quick, I have set aside my copy here. And this is the headline that I've used for all of my other listings for this unit. And here is the rest of the copy. You may notice that I listed a family run and that won't be true for everyone, but I have found just as an aside that renters like the idea of independently managed properties where they're not dealing as much with a property manager as with an owner. So if that's your case, I would suggest promoting it. Oh. Uh, so here are our photos and you can drag and drop them up here. Yeah, I didn't get all of them there. Should just take a second. And while it's doing that, I am going to move these around a little bit. This is my rental criteria, uh, which uh, the city of Seattle now requires that we post. That won't be true for everyone, but they want tenants to be able to see what the criteria is. I'm going to monkey with this later. I like to move them around. I know that's possible, but 
I'm not going to take our time doing that. Okay, and I have uploaded a video tour, uh, which is something I'm just starting to do on to YouTube. And a nice feature of T Turbo Tenant is that they allow you to link to that. It, the different platforms offer all kinds of different approaches to video. Not all of them support it, but I think you know it's going to be a, a thing that, that's going to be prevalent coming up, and I'm glad that it is enabled here. So here I'm going to publish my listing, and you can see that it published. So I offer the premium here, which I'm going to decline for now, and... I think it'll take a, a little while, you know, it says 24 to 48 hours for it to be fully published. Usually it's faster than that. Here is our listing. So you can, you can get our, our images and a, a nice tidy uh, layout on the details and Turbo Tenant has an app as well. So that's something that's handy, I think, for both tenants and landlords. And then just briefly, uh, we'll touch on this in the future, but the nice thing about TurboTenant and, and most of these platforms is that it allows you to, to accept once you have applicants, then you, you go through and you take a look at their screening results and their application, and you can move them directly into a lease. They have lawyer-reviewed state-specific lease agreements, which are incredibly important now. And then you can move them directly into electronic payments. So no more collecting checks and depositing them. The tenants can set them up on auto pay and um, it's just very slick. So there you have it and I invite you to ask any questions, subscribe, comment, and come back and see the next one. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.